Today I'd like to talk about some um, basic possibilities how you can enhance your workflow in Finale. And there are some users who argue that actually Sibelius is much superior in this regard. But um, I would say it only has something to do how you set up your Finale system and how you use some other um, yeah, third parties plugins so that you can get that same workflow as in Sibelius. So for instance, have a look at the main tool palette. You can select the main tool palette by um, pressing command plus T or you simply go to the window window and there, look here, you find it. And of course it's quite annoying. So for instance, if you want to enter into symbol entry mode, I mean, you have to click and if you want to place an articulation or use an expression or something else, a shape, um, this is quite annoying, of course. And what I did is that I'm using a program called Keyboard Maestro. There are other programs available on the Mac and also on the PC. But um, let me show you how, how I've done it this. So I launched the Keyboard Maestro editor. Um, and here you can see I set up certain macros. So for instance, I assigned my function key 1 to the simple entry and then I recorded basically the workflow how I um, enter this particular menu and the way how it goes is I click on the main uh, menu and then I um, um, I think I, I, I selected a particular menu and then I used the down arrow keystroke to get to the um, appropriate um, entry and that led to the way that I selected the quarter note, which is um, one of the entries in the menu tools. So for instance, I'll show you what I mean. Um, I went to this and then I probably went somewhere here. No, sorry. Um, that's the thing that I did. I went to simple entry and then I selected the quarter note. So, in other words, when I press the F1 key, it goes to my simple entry. If I press F2, um, it goes to the expression tool, and you see F3, that smart shape, F4 is articulation, F5 is page tool, and let me go back to the keyboard maestro. You see F1 is simple entry, it's expression, smart shape, articulation, page layout, time signature, measure tool, concert pitch, so I can switch between concert pitch and transposed view, key tools, chord, clefs, and special tools palette. And here um, I actually um, created a marker using a third-party plugin which is available for free by Jari Williamson. It's his, um, I think, let me show, look, um, I'm not sure, I think it's JB Pattern, there we are. Um, there's one very annoying thing in, uh, uh, in Finale, sorry, <laughs> which is missing actually, you cannot scroll to the left and scroll to the right by default, so you see, I'm using the shift and cursor command. So if I use the shift and plus arrow, I can switch between everything. And that, by the way, also works in the page view. I mean, in this case, let me just briefly create a second page. So when I want to switch between the pages, you see, I can do it like here. Okay. Um, what else? Um, the other opportunity you can do or the path you can follow is if you don't have keyboard maestro and you don't intend to buy such a macro program you can of course use finale script and finale script is something which is very useful here because it gives you the possibility to program some very basic macros or actually if you take time to look at the various commands it's actually a quite powerful language and you see my macros that I set up is um, I set out a macro to enter edit margins, page margin. Then I created a macro, a script for 16th quantization, 8th quantization, quarter quantization, uh, show active layer, apply articulation and yada tremble, and my super update layout. Um, perhaps I can show you just briefly how you set up this done. So these are my available scripts. And let me go to the edit margins and I'll show you how I've done this. Um, 
you have to select the tool and you see here when you go to this cool and it's highlighted and it says well oh, hold on that we are a text tool and there you say page layout tool so I enter this and then I select the menu item edit margin which you find here and keep in mind that you have to copy it exactly at his, as, as you find it here so don't forget all these dots and then I assigned a shortcut so it's um, command plus control plus M and I run that script to show what it does so I can enter into this and I can simply uh, enter my values here and I've done this for some superior markers so for instance this is a combination of two um, markers so let me show it how it works first I select the menu item apply articulation then I type um, the value 34 34 is the type you find here okay um, just briefly let me show you how this works um, you see here 34 that's the tremolo marking and then I click OK and then I choose another menu item and I run this tremolo plug-in which was composed by uh, Jerry Williamson and then I end the routine so what it does is I'll show you to the likeness so I enter my simple entry by using F1 let me then just briefly enter a very simple melody okay then I hit F7 so then I mark this stuff and when I hit my um, macro see here oops let me double check oh it's air sorry so command shift plus air there we are and voila you've got these lovely tremolo markings and by the way um, in keyboard maestro I also set up um, some macros for um, very important things like slurs I'm using not the official smart shape tool I'm using a plug-in again by Jari and I also set up um, a macro for TG tools and I set up a macro for a crescendo and a decrescendo hairpin and that's very useful because you know for instance let me just simulate it so I'll go to another measure I enter something very simple again okay then I go back to the first value um, I had hit X and 4 and then I hit for instance X7 these are the meta tools for assigning the dynamics okay and then I hit F7 I mark this stuff here and then I hit uh, command and brace and there we are you see it's a lovely assigned crescendo now I can even place a decrescendo and then I hit command A oh sorry I have to command A there we are and I can also enter my teaching tools plugin so it's perfectly lined up. So thank you very much for watching my video.